In this video, we are going to see the best outlining app for your best work where brilliant ideas are captured, fleshed out and realized. Quite often, a software beats another software with its features and becomes one of the best in its category. One such tool is DinoList that gives unlimited list items for free. And we are going to see a demo and a review of this software today. If you have been following my YouTube channel, you would have seen a review I made on Workflowy, which is a similar software. No problems there, I still love Workflowy for its ease of use and elegance and is being used by many famous bloggers I know. But Dynalist is similar to Workflowy and better, in my opinion. Since the time I started using it, I have used more of Dynalist than Workflowy and you can see why by the time you finish watching this video. In fact, the free plan in Dynalist is so generous that it contains more than half of the pro features present in Workflowy. You can get the full list of features from this page here. Their native desktop app, mobile app and web app all work seamlessly synced. By the way, if you use this special link, you will get one month of Dynalist Pro for free. So go ahead and sign up to get this free offer at no extra cost to you. Now let's see a demo of Dynalist. Here is the welcome screen when you first log in. The left side is the file pane. The middle one is where we write and create lists. And on the right side, we can see the shortcuts and formatting help bar. We can close this out to just have these expanded to the overall full of screen and you can also collapse this file pane so you get a full neat uh, screen to just edit your lists. When you mouse over on these list items you can see that there is a zoom in button. Clicking on that will zoom into that particular list item. Additionally there is also this hamburger icon where clicking on that will open a menu of a uh, lot of features where we can delete or add note and add to bookmarks or move to some other list item or make it as a checklist and uh, more options over here you can even add colorful labels uh, for the list items you can even convert them into heading tags if you want a direct link to any of the items we can do that by selecting the menu and clicking on get link that will give a direct link to that particular list item these are some of the options over here where clicking on that can we can toggle between hiding or showing the checked items. So if I check this particular uh, list item, I could have it either shown or hidden. And notes are added by clicking on any list and then hitting on shift and enter key together. And this is how we can add notes. Those can also be hidden or shown on the first line as from these options and the layout could be in two ways it could be a list item as how we are seeing right now or make it into an article uh, layout like this I would switch back to the list layout which is what I like there are some more options over here under the settings uh, where we can see the account details configure your keyboard shortcuts change some of the preferences and check your pro account details here. In case you have been using Workflowy, we can use this feature to import list items through an OPML file from Workflowy as well. OPML stands for Outline Processor Markup Language, which is an XML format for outlines. Here's how to import from Workflowy to Dynalist. Go to your Workflowy account, click on this drop down menu. Here, select export all. In the export list dialog box that pops up, select the OPML radio button and click to download. Now within Dynalist file pane, click on the plus symbol to choose the import from OPML option. And this OPML option, you can select this OPML uh, file and click on open and that gets imported into your Dynalist account. This name can be changed later once you import. So that's how we import from uh, Workflowy. And this is the bookmarks button where up to 5 bookmarks can be added in the free version. The pro version gives us unlimited bookmarks. And this is where we can add tags to the files and folders. 
On the right hand side we can see all the keyboard shortcuts in addition to using Markdown to format text in Dynalist. You can customize your keyboard shortcuts in the settings icon using this key map section here or see more on this formatting reference page to customize further. Dynalist remembers all the details about when we created it and when we last edited up to every specific list item. You can see that by simply doing a mouse over on the bullets like these. It shows you the creation date and the last edited date, including the time. And uh, we can use the hashtag key, the hash key to uh, add tags like this here. I'm going to add a quick tag called basics to show you how it works. You can either click on this to see all of the tags that are or to all of the list items which are tagged as basics or just click on the search and type in basics to get it all done. All shown up in one place. That's how the hashtags work. Another feature I liked in Dynalist is that we can wrap text using the tilde key to convert text into a code formatted text. We can do that by uh, typing the tilde uh, key and type something over here and that becomes a code formatted text. We can also give dates by just inserting a space and then typing an exclamation key which pops up the date picker you can give a date like that which was done you can also give time by the same method by typing in the time over here so that's how you can insert date and time to your list items if you want a link between two list items simply type the open square brackets twice and start typing the list item you want to be linked to let's see how that works now uh, let's say I want to type the essentials and choose this one and leave it there so this creates a hyperlink for your list item internally clicking on that will take you to that list not just another list item but using the same method we can also add hyperlinks to anywhere else on the internet if you want to learn more there are neatly organized how to guides available at help.dynalist.io Finally, searching within documents is really simple by hitting on Ctrl O on your keyboard to find the to open the finder option to search for items and documents. So those were the powerful features of Dynalist and I hope you find it useful in organizing your ideas, thoughts and to-do lists. I hope you liked this video as much as I liked creating it. If yes, please click on that like button, share it with your friends and enemies, sign up for Dynalist using this special link. To get one month of free Dynalist Pro and hit on the subscribe button for more such videos, tips and tutorials. Finally, don't forget to click on the notification bell icon so you don't miss whenever I upload a new video. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Take care.